Online. Transferring biometric data, Wendell Tully. Biometric data transfer complete. Audio file downloaded, Dr. Wendell Tully. Title, Goodbye. <clears throat> Hello, my scabby-wearing friend. I do not know who you are or how you came by this message. But please tell them I tried. Tell Trudy, Thor, my little Sarah. Tell the world. The sun is setting on our yard and it brings back so many memories. Sitting in this chair, my favorite chair, my thinking chair. I fear this may be the last time I lay eyes on such a beautiful sight. I'm nearly out of time. My body shrivels more with each passing day. Even my scabby can barely fit on my bony wrist. The spacer, my greatest achievement. A disaster. The final chapter in the book of my many failures. Perhaps in solitude, free from my family, from Burgle, from Ominent, perhaps I can finally find a cure to this damnable reasoning. So, this will be my last adventure into the miniature world. I leave the warmth of the sun and embrace the unknown. 
I'll either find the answer or shrivel in the darkness below. To my lab underneath the shed. This is Dr. Wendell Tooley signing off. Goodbye. Science! Working in the dark is playing tricks on my mind. I fear every shadow, hear whispers in the silence. But most of all, I miss my family. Ah, oh, Trudy and her crooked grin. The way she rolled her eyes at my dumb jokes. <laughs> Sarah, my little angel. How she would jump into my arms every time I walked through the door after work. And Thor. Thor and his obsession of the month. What was the last one? Castle Moldork? No, no, no. No! It was Mance! Dad! What do you mean I don't need Mant Minis? Have you seen them? Do you even know what a Mant is? It's so rad, Dad. A barbarian, an insectoid warrior with the mind of a human. That... Forever.
set. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I really want one of those. Oh, great. Another science lab.
failure. Countless infusions, countless migraines. I'm so shriveled now, I can barely walk. And the true origin of wrong science? Mm, an enigma. A mystery box with no lid. I don't think I have much longer. It is hard to think straight. I am so tired. I have only one option that remains. One last toss of the proverbial dice. Commence Project Mant. Project Mant is nearing completion. The first good news in as long as I can remember. Perhaps my previous failures have all led to this point. Uh, Vendepunx, my defining moment. This new body will allow me to continue my research. I've, I've created a super scientist. My checklist is complete. Consciousness transfer procedures will now begin. Insects are supposed to sound like that. What is that?
defeated my meant, but you and your eminent paymasters will never get their hands on the embiggening cocktail. I'll take that secret to my grave. To my grave! The watched becomes the watcher. How does it feel? agents would come shrouded in. The subterfuges of your ilk know no limits. Still, you do seem a bit young to be in the employ of Ominent. Oh, what have I done? Schmechter, of course. It's always Schmechter. Always has been. Alas, I still bear much responsibility for my creation and the pain it has wrought. To think that you have been caught up in all of this. Your children, not much older than my Sarah or Thor. Oh, what has become of me? Threatening death to children. But, but also, well, that's fair. I have no doubt terrible things have brought you here. Terrible things that are undoubtedly my fault. I never meant to hurt anyone. I don't deserve it, but I hope one day you can forgive me. Speaking of forgiveness... Please excuse my shriveled appearance, this blasted reasoning. Like the grape set out in the sun, the body shrivels, withers, desiccates, becoming a husk of what was once a living being. In essence, what you see here before you, in all it well, if you will allow me to check your scabby, you haven't been in the yard long, but long enough that signs of reasoning would be apparent. Nothing in my research has shown that there is any immunity to it, and yet here you are. Perhaps it is that your youthful bodies are more resistant than others. Likely, this is why Ornament was experimenting on children to begin with, which means... Did Schmechter find a cure? Damn! As much as I loathe the man, I must admit that Schmechter is brilliant in his own way, though his methods can be quite distasteful. We cannot rule out the possibility that he has done it. Could that mean there is hope for me? When the reasoning became too much, I realized I had to find a cure before it was too late. I hid here, away from the eyes. So many prying eyes. Ominent has always wanted to steal my work. They would never admit its worth and greatness, and yet they would always take it. Especially Schmechter. I have made... Many mistakes in my life, countless, really, but one that I will never make again 
is to allow my discoveries to fall into the hands of that corporation. If I must die for it, so be it. As you can see, my body has withered away. I created the mant to be used as a temporary body so that I could continue my work. But I never imagined the insect's instincts would remain, let alone gain sentience. <laughs> I lost control almost immediately. As always, my greatest successes are followed by the greatest failures. Wendell Tully, husband, father, scientist. He succeeded only in the end. My greatest regret. If only there was something I could do to reverse time. Some sort of science seems quite clear it would be impossible. And yet I never thought that covalent spacing reduction could be a reality either. <laughs> Ooh. If, if, if the law science could be applied in the way of the time truck No, no, the, the, the time space. But I digress. You see, even if I went home now, my family wouldn't recognize me. Trudy would not see the man she buried. My children would be repulsed by the bag of skin that speaks with the voice of their father. Home. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Home. Your parents must be worried. So very worried. The process is not difficult. You will simply need to brew an embiggening cocktail at the Javamatic machine. The embiggening process is extremely taxing on living subjects. You'll need enough nutrients and proteins to survive the expansion to your original size. We use the embiggening cell to regulate this expansion by way of the secret cocktail. The ingredients in the cocktail, like the keratin in toenails, fortify the skeletal structure as it grows. Unfortunately, there is this small issue of overexpansion. If the subject grows too quickly, they are prone to overexpansion, or in layman's terms, they explode. To counter this, Sustained infusions of carbon dioxide gas must be added to the mixture. Fortunately, I found a secret ingredient that works perfectly in this regard. Grilled science. Grilled science! Raw science represents the essence of ingenuity, but thrown over the coals of fire, it is tempered by flame, tamed by Bernal's spatula, and emerges as something greater, plump and juicy. Grilled science. It reminds me of the barbecues we once had in our backyard. Oh, Trudy, Sarah, Thor. The last of the grilled science is in the refrigerated storage room over there. Are you ready to go? We'll need some grilled science. Good, good. Then we have everything we need to proceed. I promise I will get you home. I may have failed my own children, but I will not fail you. Oh, from the mouths of babes. Yes, you may be right. 
It might not be too late for me. But what is most important is getting you home. We need to head to the Javamatic machine in the upper yard. There we can blend the embiggening cocktail needed to run the spacer safely. I'm opening the back door for you. I will follow close. Interesting. devour a billy hog right about now. makes espresso. Cell is in place. We're almost ready to commence brewing. <laughs> <laughs> 